the core thing that we always have to go back to and people think the biggest benefit from is how the organization embodies asset management. Now, I've, I've seen it in modern times in facilities that I've worked in where you know, they hire a safety manager to so make us safer. Mm, you now, plant manager, people above that in the organization need to say safety is important to us. And the same way, they need to say asset management, reliability, that's important to us. And we, as an organization, every one of us is responsible for reliable operations, just as I was saying. Uh, being safe and I think only when that cultural change happens and we all embrace it and we all play our part are we really truly going to become reliable organizations we have seen you know successes now with with our clients that actually take on ISO 55000 as a standard and embrace it and they're willing to put together asset management plans and have a concept from the top that they're actually putting their name on it as the CEO saying, we are signing off on this. Everything else is kind of the meat and potatoes after we have the context down and the leadership in place, you know? Um, well, that's why we are the asset leadership network and not the asset management network. Exactly, right? It's, yeah. that's exactly it. Everything else is, is in a lot of ways, it's what we already do, right? We kind of, we naturally plan things. We know we have to support. Operations are going to happen whether we have ISO 55000 or not. They may not be as effective and efficient, right? right. Um, and a lot of people already do continuous improvement in some way. But it's bringing that top-down understanding of the context of the organization and making certain that leadership is in place and supporting that makes the difference.